Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha and today I'm going to be sharing with you another new release but this time it's from iHeart Revolution and it is the Face and Shadow palettes. Now I have a couple of them from the collection of four um, and I'm going to be sharing them with you separately so I'll do one today and perhaps one tomorrow. You can pick them up for £5 each and uh, from revolutionbeauty.com as well as superdrug.com if you're within the UK. Superdrug.com at the time of me purchasing mine were still ongoing with the three for two offer. So if that's still ongoing, I'll link that down below, of course. Okay, let's look at the packaging. So it comes in a box like this. So if you did want to gift it, you've got a bow there, which is very pretty. It's obviously white or cream and it is white, white and yellow, which is very nice spring colors. Love that. You've got I Heart Revolution there with the name of this palette, which is chocolate. And you are getting in this one five pans. So the smaller pans are, and they are 0.08 ounce of product or 2.5 grams. The larger pans, which you can use either for eyeshadow, blush, if they're that kind of color, or highlight, of course, and they are 0.14 ounce of product or 4.2 gram of product. Um, on the side, it gives you a diagram or a picture of the actual inside of the egg, and you've got the highlight shades there and the eyeshadows. They are numbered as well. So, um, you know, you can obviously describe them that way. I'll just be pointing them to you. Um, you also have the ingredients there. And also on the base, it does state that it is cruelty free. So let's look at the actual egg itself. So this is chocolate, of course. So it is a chocolate colorway and you just open it like that. So if you haven't seen these before, you have two halves and you have the highlight blush or eyeshadow this side, depending on you know the color and what you want to use it for. And then on the other side, you have the five pans of eyeshadow. You do have four to collect. Um, there is a very bright pink version. There's a more subtle pink version. And then the other two seems to be more earthy tones. This one obviously has the pink in there along with those earthy tones, but the other one I think is more neutral without the pink. Um, so that's what it looks like inside. Now let me get to the swatches and then of course I'll be trialing it for you. So let's start with the highlight. Um, I think you can really only use these for highlight and eyeshadow, not blush, but I'm sure some of them have got pink in there. So, you know, that's where I got the idea from that you could probably use it for all three. This one, I like I say, I would stick to eyeshadow and highlight. So there are your two highlight shades. Let me just rub that in a little bit. So you've got a very icy shade and much more of a yellow tone there. Then let's move on to the eyeshadows themselves. They feel very soft, very buttery. Oh, I like that green. It's like a, a green, but it's got a yellow in it as well. Ooh. I'm gonna swatch them all and then I'll go through the shades with you. They all feel fantastic. This one, you have four shimmers and one matte. So of course we all have our favorite mattes if you want to incorporate, you know, a, a matte base first of all, and then obviously incorporate the shimmers into it. So there is the green shade and you can see that it's got a little bit of a yellow undertone to it. Then there's the pink. We have the lighter brown shimmer and then we have the deeper brown shimmer and there is your only matte shade within this palette. So it's not too light for me and it's not too deep. It's somewhere in the middle, I hope. Um, <laughs> we'll see in a moment. So there are all of your swatches from the chocolate version. Okay, I'm going to be using the Primark Eye Contour brush and I have already primed my eyes. I haven't set set it though, I'm going to see how they work on just um, primed eyes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into that matte shade, which is that one there. Like I say, it's the only matte shade in here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to use the palette. But of course, if I wanted to, I could dip into the Revolution Reloaded uh, Basic Mattes. That's what I'd probably go, go for. It's quite a yellow, 
yellow um, toned shade. Um, looks quite yellow on the eye. But it's like a, a subtle yellow. having to build it up a little bit because on the actual skin um, it looks a lot lighter than it does in the pan. You can see that there is some colour but not um, you know not that much. I think um, I'll probably leave my thoughts actually until the end let you know then what I actually think. Okay, so again, I'm having to build it up. And I'm going to apply this underneath the eye as well. So it applies nicely, blends out nicely. I built it up, so you can build it up um, because obviously I want it to show and as it's the only matte in the palette, I want it to, you know, to be able to be seen basically. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to deepen it up, but I'm going in with one of the shimmers. Obviously, you know, um, if I wanted to, I could use a matte palette, for, but for the purpose of this video, I'm staying true to this palette just to show you how it could work, I suppose. So I'm going into that deeper brown, see what that does, and I'm going to pop that in the crease. I know a lot of you don't like putting shimmer in the crease, but sometimes it does work. It just depends on the actual formula. So it goes nicely into the crease. I'm going to see if I can blend it up because all I can see at the moment is that yellow. Yeah, it's not so shimmery that you can't put it in the crease. Um, it's working okay. There we go. So it's now blending out where I want it to go. A little bit more. Right in that crease area. A little under here for definition. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's applying applying okay, um, and you can't actually see too much sheen from it. Once you blend it out, there's not it's not over the top, and when I'm taking it up, it's blending nicely into that yellow matte shade so it's given me a little bit of transition coming through but um, you know you can see that it is a nice brown it works very very well right let's do the other eye I'm surprised that when you blend it out you know you cannot hardly see that sheen so yeah really really good obviously I'm going to test them out on the lid to see how they work as a shimmer as well you have to work a little bit harder with a shimmer because um, you know I don't want it to be like 
in your face shimmer in my crease and I know that obviously if you the more texture you have in that area um, and you add a shimmer the the more it really shows that texture up but actually you, you can't you can't see it I've buffed it in very very well so that um, So that you can't so I think that's probably the key with applying shimmers on the lid to keep buffing them I'm just going to deepen this one out a little bit more hmm. I don't know why but it looks like I don't know if it's yeah I've got I think it looks it always looks in the viewfinder like it's not blended in in the middle on this side but when I look in the mirror it has I'm just going to put some more on because I'm still wanting it a little bit deeper if I don't um, make it deep in the crease then um, you know it doesn't it just shows my hooded eyes up but if I put a little bit of depth there that's better actually it's took that away that I could see there yeah if you've got hooded eyes you just need to go deep into the crease and it will give the illusion that you haven't got a hooded eye so much I'm just going to go in with that yellow on a clean brush and just sweep it through this area here okay I think that is fine I'm really amazed by that actually it really doesn't look like shimmer it's taken me a little bit longer um, and that's why I don't edit my video so you can actually see how long it's taken me to do certain things so that if you want to replicate it you're not going to be surprised that um, you know the shimmer in the crease um, takes a little bit of work because you've got a shimmer but there is no shimmer there you know in the crease so it's not going to highlight your texture I don't know why because it is it is a shimmer but it, it just if you buff it in enough it just doesn't what I'm going to do now is um, use my finger I think what am I going to do on the lid because I want to incorporate because um, I was going to go straight in with a brown but I, I don't want to do that I want to go in with something a little bit different um, I think I'm going to go in with the pink um, and see what that looks like on the lid Well, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Um, I think I'm going to do the same this side, where I've not, um, I'm not taking it on the middle and out. I'm actually taking it quite, um, quite close to the inner corner, so that I can add another shade I'm probably going to stay away from the green just because there's only so much space on my lid like that Let's get a now I'm going to change and go in with the I'm going to go for the lighter so I've gone in with the pink I'm now going in with the lighter like golden color so that's going to go here I'm going to try and use as many colors as I can just to see how this colorway really works together And then I'm going into the brown again. Now, when I put it on with a finger, it actually brings that sheen up. But when you use a brush, it takes that sheen away. Like 
that there is actually some fallout here and it is it has actually gone all under my eye as well I think I might actually go under the eye with the green and that will incorporate all of the colours then. Um, I'm using now the 250 pencil and powder smudge brush which has a point on the end um, and that is also from Primark. So I'm going into that pink with the brush. For the inner corner. possibly could use obviously one of the highlight shades um, to, you know rather than going in with the pink um, but that's obviously what I'm doing today I'm just going in with the pink that's the look that I want to create so that's that and then I'm going in with um, I'll use the same brush. I'll see if the green will show up underneath the eye. I've just cleaned it off um, on the colour switcher from Primark that I use. And I'm going into the green. I'm going to try and put the green. Oh, that's actually showing up very close to the lash line. There's a little bit of liner there just to incorporate all of the shades. Just gonna get my brush and go underneath. Um, the shimmer has just gone completely all the way underneath and that's where I definitely don't want that shimmer. Um, I'm going to get a little bit of the brown, the deeper brown that I used in the crease. Okay, now I'm going to accessorise I suppose by using other products. I'm going to be using the Revolution HD Smoky Waterproof Liner which is still hanging in there. Um, just I still want a little bit of oh, my brush again. I'm still not happy with the under eye. For some reason, the colour just doesn't want to stay there. That's better. Um, and then, of course, I'm using the Mascara Revolution. And that is my final look using the chocolate palette from the, I think it's called, is it the face? Yeah, face and shadow palette, the chocolate version. So it's quite neutral, but obviously, you know, there's only so much you can get from a palette that looks like that. So what I'm going to do now is give you my review and give you my thoughts. Okay, so, I really loved the collection last year. I thought the colourways were fantastic. So when they released these ones this year, there was a couple, like I mentioned, that I really was drawn to. And um, for £5, definitely worth a try. I love the idea that, you know, uh, you can give someone a calorie-free gift at Easter rather than, you know, a high-calorie gift in the, the shape of a chocolate egg. So this is a chocolate egg, but it's, you know, 
calorie free. So I really, really like that, especially for anyone like me that doesn't eat a great deal of chocolate anymore. So I love that. I also love the packaging when you've got that little added accent of a bow. I think it is very, very um, pretty. I think it's nice. It's very spring-like. Love it. Okay, so I love the packaging, love the price point, and love the fact that also this is, you know, chocolate, you know, a proper chocolate coloured egg. Really love that. But when you open it up, I would love it if they actually, um, added that chocolate scent to these i think you know especially if it's a chocolate um kind of product you know um i would love that like they do with their chocolate bar palettes i would love it if this was um you know had that chocolate scent um i also think i'm not going to use the highlight um you've obviously seen the shade so if you want to use it you you certainly can and you can use that for either like i said eyeshadow blush if it's that color and I'm sure that in a couple of others there is pink um, or you know just highlight and eyeshadow for definite um, so really like that um, I do like um, the shades but I don't like that icy one I probably just stick to the um, yellow for the highlight this one I'd probably use for in a corner um, but I'm my favourite highlight is what I'm wearing today. I'm just not a big fan of these. Um, or should I just put a little bit on? Yeah, I'll just put a little bit on the yellow using my finger just to show you what it looks like on the high point. I mean, it's very, very nice. Um, I'm just so fussy about highlights. There's only so some highlights that I will wear um, you know, it's nice, it's bright, um, it works beautifully. Um, but in this one, I'm not that keen on the really light one. And I'm, I don't know, I'm just not keen on the yellow either. Um, I'll just have to put it this side now, won't I? I didn't really get it for the highlights, to be honest. I got it for the eyeshadows. So I've just got to blend that in. And I'm just going in with my foundation brush just to go over that because it's quite intense and as you know I'm not a big fan of too intense eyeshadows so for the purpose of highlight yes they do work um, they're going a little bit hard panned on this yellow one that I've just used you can see that so um, it is quite a soft formula so obviously I would probably um, stick to using a um, brush with those okay getting on to the eyeshadow so you've got five eyeshadows in here four of them are shimmer and one of them is matte really like the colorways in here of course otherwise I wouldn't have purchased it um, but what I would say is that if you are like me um, I'm happy to bring in another palette so like I mentioned in the video I'm happy to bring in the revolution reloaded basic matte palette to create a look but what I prefer is, I prefer a palette to have everything in it that I need to create a look with. So you've got four shimmers in here, and yes, that brown did work to create some depth there, but if you're going to give me this color, which basically just adds a little bit of yellow, I need something a little bit richer, a little bit more. If you're just going to put one matte in a palette and the rest shimmers, I would like that matte to be like a deeper brown um, so that, you know, that is my preference. Or perhaps these bottom two, that could have been that one and this could have been a matte as well. So I would, I think in a, on the whole, you use more mattes in an eye look than you do shimmers because you use a couple, you lay down a couple of mattes first, don't you? So usually you have that transitional shade, that lighter shade, then you have a deeper brown to give you that depth and then you use one or two shimmers. So you use that shimmer on the lid and then perhaps um, carry it through to the inner corner and then um, you know you either use one or two for different um so shimmer and then on the inner corner another perhaps lighter shade so i don't know this is an okay palette i really like the shades but for me it just doesn't work 
I also found that the pink you can see there there is already hard pan um, I went in with um, the pointed brush and it did break it up a little bit but for me I don't know the quality is not there I mean I tested out an eyeshadow palette yesterday the quality was there I could tell the difference I put my finger into the um, shimmers and I didn't get any hard pan um, issues but on this one I did there and I did on the highlight as well on that yellow one so already they're hard panning for me basically um, I just wish that these two were matte obviously that one is but I wish that was matte as well and then you've got three colors here um, to add to the eye if that one was just matte and the same tone it would have worked perfectly but I had to work so hard to get that shimmer out of there um, you know I really had to work hard at it you saw that so for me it's not a great cohesive palette on first appearances the shades look great they look like like they're really going to work and I love the fact that there's that pop of pink and you've got the green there so as an accent on the lid you know perfect um, but I just wish that that one was matte and I also wish the quality was there and it wasn't going hard pan it just feels so soft I also had um, some issues with the um, brown shimmer so this one here actually falling down here um, I also when I put the pink on I had issues with it falling under there because they're so soft um, yeah so all in all I think the idea is fantastic obviously I've got another one um, to test out so we'll see if the same thing happens but I think the idea is fantastic the price point is fantastic the packaging is great I just wish that there was a little bit more quality to the eyeshadows as in you know I just wish that they were the same as perhaps yesterday's palette um, and also I wish that you know if you're going to create an eyeshadow palette make it cohesive make it a um, palette that will work on its own I don't have to bring in a second palette to make it work um, when I'm in a rush and I get grab a palette this is not going to be the one that I grab because I know that I'm going to have to bring in another palette and I'm going to have to work very hard to get the shimmer out of that shimmer to give me a cohesive look so all in all okay but not that great um, and that is my final thoughts so I would love to hear your thoughts I would love to hear your thoughts on my eye look I mean I love the eye look but it's just, you know I've got other palettes that I would probably grab for more over this one if you know what I mean um, if I was to give it a rating out of five I would probably give it a three out of five so it's not bad but it's not good either um, you know it's not well it is good but it's not great I'm not going wow so all in all um, the chocolate palette was just in the middle there it's an okay palette so yeah I'd love to hear your thoughts on my eye look I would love to hear your thoughts on this palette as a whole are you going to be picking it up there are the shades again for you so you've got the two highlights there the eyeshadows are there and there's that one matte you can see what I mean it's just I don't know it's one of those shades that you you know I don't know I need it deeper to get a look from or that one is a map basically so yeah I'd like your thoughts on that as always and um, have you picked it up are you thinking the same about it or you know have you got different thoughts to me um, obviously these are just my opinions um, my opinions my thoughts and I'd love to hear yours um, so do obviously comment down below and if you are uh, brand new to my channel please do stick around to subscribe to watch further videos obviously I've got a second egg to share with you and I'll be sharing that with you tomorrow so until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye